So let's start with the character. We want to add a character body 3D because in the new Godot they do not have the kinematic body 3D and it's been replaced with the character body 3D. We're then going to add a collision shape 3D and a mesh instance 3D or you can use the graphics for your player. Right now we want to use a capsule for both. We also want to create a camera 3D and position it um, where you think it looks best. Now we're going to code the player movement, so create a new script and luckily for us Godot has already made the template for basic movement in 3D so we don't actually have to code anything for the movement. This is just basic movement for a player, it has speed, jump, velocity, it also has gravity, you can see it goes to the project settings and it gets the default gravity so if we go to project settings and we just search up gravity and you'll see you'll be using this thing here so you can change it here or you can just get rid of this write the number there it also uses the default input maps uh, same with these are arrow keys so we want to change that so we'll go to project settings input map and we'll add some new action and finally a jump just click the plus button here type a okay and jump will be space. We then just replace all of these and same with this one and we'll just go jump. Now I'm going to create a simple level so it's really simple. Let's create a new scene, uh, we'll call it world and I'm going to add a static body 3D and a mesh instance and a collision shape and we're just going to make these cubes. I'm just going to scale it be like super big and that will be it. We can then drag in our player into the world, move it up, and let's test it. Now if we play the game, you see that it works fine, but we can't see the world environment, so let's create that right now. Simply just make a world environment node, add a new environment, and in the background we want to create a sky. We'll go into the sky and create a new sky, and for the sky material we're going to use new physical sky material. You then want to add a directional light here, and this is going to act as the sun. Make sure in the settings we want to go to shadow and want to enable it so we can see the shadow of the player. We can now see our game in action. Now what you notice is, is that the camera just faces this way all the time and won't move with our mouse, so we're going to add that in now. So first go to our player scene and we're going to add a new node, node 3D, and we're going to put the camera 3D into the node 3D. We'll rename this camera base. If we move the camera base rotation, you'll see that the camera is rotating. This will allow us for when the mouse moves, we're just going to rotate this so it rotates around the player. So go into our player script and we're going to reference to the camera base. So usually in Godot 3, we would write on ready var and we'll write the name of our variable which would be camera base and we would reference it here, camera base there. It says that onready isn't a thing anymore. This is because onready has now become an annotation. So we actually have to use the at symbol here, so then it works. That's another part of GDScript 2. We'll then want to add this code here. This checks for mouse motion, and if it is, it will rotate the camera when we move our mouse up and down. If we look here, we go to the camera base, it will move the X when we move our mouse up and down. This down here will clamp it so the camera can't rotate around the player just like this and it's clamped from negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees so it can't go past these two points. And this rotation.y is actually rotating the entire player including the camera around it when the mouse is moved this way. Anyways, if we play our scene right now, you'll see it works fine, we can move it around but our mouse is in the way. To get rid of that, we're going to create a ready function. And in that you want to write input.mousemode is equal to 2. This will set the mouse mode to captured so the mouse will disappear and also won't go off the screen. Now we have a basic 3D platformer here, but let's add some graphics. I have Mario down here and what we're going to do is we're going to import him into Blender with these animations I've created. Um, if you want to know how to do this, I'll send you a video in the description and it'll show you how to like input animations from Mixamo here into Godot and Blender. So I've imported the Mario model. I'm going to right click new inherited scene. It'll create a new scene. We're just going to go to the animation player, see if the animations work. There we have the idle, we have the jumping, we have the running, 
and we have the T posed. Want to save this? And we just instance him here right now. So we scale this down until he fits our character. We can now delete the mesh instance because we don't need that anymore. And in the player script here, we're going to reference the animation player again. So we want to do the at on ready. And we're going to reference the animation player. So we're going to write this. If they're moving and on the floor, we want to play the running animation. So else if they're on the floor, which means they're just standing still on the floor, that means they're idle. So we're going to add animation.play idle then down here we want to add if input is jumped and is on floor then we want to play the play jump press play and it will load and we can now move and jump i hope you enjoyed this video um thank you for watching if this helped you then subscribe hit the like button comment below on what you want to see next and goodbye